check this out. This is the Moto Z with a projector right here under it. Uh, have you seen this before? It's totally awesome. Let's check it out. I'm going to post it, put it right here. I'm going to open a video. Let's play this one. So this is awesome in every hotel room, in every Airbnb you would stay at, at your home, uh, at school, at work, you can project, okay? You can project a video. I was watching Donald Trump live on CNN. You can watch anything you want uh, on a huge wall if you want, or not so, not so big wall if you want also, um, if you don't want to turn off all the lights. But if you turn off all the lights, the, the, the colors are really awesome. So it doesn't have HD, but it's it's great DLP projector. Let me uh, here it's off. I'm gonna show you. Check the phone. This is the Moto Z. It's so thin, so light. Okay, and this is a projector dock. Moto Mod. This is really cool. And there's some other ones. I can show you some other ones right here. So uh, this one can connect. Let's say, for example, with uh, this one. So I can play again the same video, or a different video. Uh, let me play this one. Recording a video here at the its studio. You can see it. This video it on the projector sound. right now. I am on the projector. Can you see how it looks like? It's giant. This projector very good is, sound. Uh, but very it's basically awesome. like it's a um, quite good Bluetooth uh, speaker. But now you can have it hanging on the back of your phone. Basically, your phone has a little bump. But it has a very you, you have never heard this kind of sound out of a phone so it's very awesome if you are a party person and you want to party all the time so you can party with this music or maybe you don't party you just listen to the music while you i don't know you you ski or you take a bath or whatever and then right here this one take this one out okay this is a cool one this this one whoop take this camera this is awesome so you see, when I go in camera now, there's a there's a focus. I mean, there's a the zoom that just comes out of it. So your phone now becomes into an awesome point and shoot, and um, it can take great great pictures like a point and shoot. But now, this this is the future for camera market. Also, is to be in your pocket with the phone because the phones are taking over the cameras which is a little bit of an issue because phones have very, very flat optics. But now, thanks to this, you can have huge optic, which is three or four times bigger than on an iPhone. So potentially this could take three or four times better quality, uh, crazy 4K video. Okay, that's the potential right here. Okay, let me close it down right here. This is Hasselblad, a very cool brand, good quality. And we have over here, this is if you just want this, this one has maybe like a normal battery life, kind of, maybe a little bit shorter, but then you put this one on and then the battery life that you have right now is totally double of an iPhone or a Samsung. Okay. Now you're talking about two day battery life and it's still very thin and this dock is not too expensive and it can wirelessly charge. So you can use it as a wireless charger and that's pretty cool. Okay. So th there's some cool stuff going on here. And then we have here, this is another interesting thing that they're doing. Uh, they are they are now expanding the docks because this the, the whole idea here is to have a bunch of docks. So this one, for example, um, it allows to connect all the Arduino stuff, okay, all the development ideas that people have. For example, I have this idea. I'd like to see somebody release a Moto mod that does that has a super thin e-ink display on the back because one thing that's kind of sad. All these kids and all these people on subway are looking at their phones and it's such a horrible experience for reading. But I'd like to see an e-ink display and super thin and Mo Mobius display. You can have a super thin e-ink and then you can maybe also have a Kent display like a, to take some notes. Okay, very thin one, very cheap, also affordable one. And uh, maybe you can have a laptop dock so you can connect it to a laptop that could be unpowered, can run Chrome OS, it can run Remix or Phoenix OS. And then when you connect this one, it accelerates the performance because this is an Dragon 820. So you will always have the fastest ARM processor in your phone and not on your laptop, especially, I mean, for now, it's like that. Uh, so the Snapdragon 820 and uh, it has a lot of RAM and a lot of flash, you know, I could talk about that, but that's not what's interesting about this. 
what's interesting is the innovation that they're doing with all these docks. They have, they, you can add sensors, they have uh, batteries, special batteries, special audio. Um, there's lots of potential here. But now, is this going to be revolutionary? Is this going to be the future of smartphone? It all depends on Lenovo. The people at Lenovo, how are they going to sell this one? How are they going to do the marketing for this one? And what is going to be the price? Okay, 699 which is currently the price, is too high. So they should do like what Steve Jobs did. When the iPhone came out at 699 it took him one week and he put the price down to 499 okay? But they should actually go down to 349 If they put it down to 349 without any docks, okay? Or with a dock for, let, it can be 699 if you include the projector. Okay, let's say, uh, including a projector, 699 sold, okay? Maybe. Or well, maybe 599 would be a little bit nicer. Including a pro projector for the same or cheaper than iPhone, who wouldn't buy it? Who wouldn't buy it? Who wouldn't want to have a projector for the same price as an iPhone and a Samsung? It's completely awesome. And maybe you can have a different. You can you can have a, you can try to improve a little bit on the on the on the camera. So so this one could be uh, reliably with external microphone, shotgun microphone, and have very high quality 4K. That could also be a cool thing, I think, potentially. Uh, so but you know, if they lower the price, if they have a few more amazing Motomod ideas. Motorola is doing an awesome work right here. Check it out. Moto Z.